Ants are among the most fascinating and successful creatures on Earth, and their intelligence has puzzled scientists and nature lovers for centuries. At first glance, an individual ant seems simple, even mindless. But when you watch a colony in action, you witness a level of organization, problem solving, and adaptability that rivals some of the most advanced animals on the planet. Each colony is like a living superorganism made up of thousands, sometimes millions of individual ants, each with a specific role. For example, when a colony needs to find food, scout ants venture out in random directions. When one finds a promising source, it returns to the nest, laying down a trail of pheromones a kind of chemical scent marker. Others help ants recognize members of their own colony, or identify the queen. In leafcutter ant colonies, pheromones coordinate the harvesting of leaves, the tending of fungus gardens, and the removal of waste. Tunnels and chambers wind through the soil, with workers tending to eggs. Soldiers patrolling the entrances and foragers streaming in and out. Above ground, a line of ants marches toward a fallen apple, each ant following the invisible trail laid down by its predecessors. The result is a highly organized society where each ant knows its role and communicates constantly with its nestmates. Army ants, which are constantly on the move, form living bridges and rafts out of their own bodies to cross gaps and rivers. The ants work in perfect harmony, each one performing its task without direct orders, yet the result is a sturdy, weatherproof nest. While a single ant's memory is limited, the colony as a whole can retain information over time. For example, if a colony discovers that a certain food source is dangerous, perhaps it's laced with poison or guarded by predators, the ants will avoid it in the future. This collective memory allows the colony to adapt to changing conditions and avoid repeating mistakes. Weaver ants stitch leaves together using silk produced by their larvae, creating nests that hang from trees like green lanterns. Algorithms based on ant foraging behavior are used to optimize everything from internet traffic to delivery routes. The study of swarm robotics where simple robots work together to complete complex tasks draws heavily from ant colony behavior. When a knowledgeable ant finds food, it may lead a naive nestmate to the source, slowing down so the follower can keep up and learn the route, or farm fungus on its own. It's only by working together, sharing information, and following simple rules that ants achieve their astonishing feats. Their intelligence isn't just in their brains, it's in their connections, their communication, and their collective spirit. This behavior known as tandem running is considered a form of teaching because the leader modifies its behavior to help the learner succeed. The secret to their success isn't just in what they do, but in how they do it together. Make sure to subscribe to Animal Inquiry and join us for more wild adventures. During battles, ants use sophisticated strategies such as feints, ambushes, and coordinated retreats. Injured ants are sometimes rescued and carried back to the nest but they receive care and may recover to fight another day. Each construction project is a feat of engineering. Central planner, but by the coordinated actions of thousands of individuals following simple rules. Some species have developed remarkable agricultural techniques. Leafcutter ants, for example, are the world's oldest farmers. They cut pieces of leaves and carry them back to the nest, not to eat, but to feed a special fungus that they cultivate in underground gardens. The ants carefully tend the fungus, removing pests and adding bits of chewed up leaves to keep it healthy. If a harmful mold appears, the ants deploy a natural antibiotic produced by bacteria on their bodies, a discovery that has inspired new research into human medicine. The leader pauses at each turn, waiting for the follower to catch up. Once they reach the food, the follower returns to the nest now able to lead others along the same route. Other ants follow this trail, reinforcing it if they also find food at the end. Others use sound, producing vibrations by scraping body parts together, behavior known as stridulation. These methods allow ants to coordinate complex activities. From building bridges out of their own bodies, to launching synchronized attacks on rival colonies, in a short time the entire colony can shift its foraging efforts to the most productive food sources abandoning less efficient routes. This decentralized decision-making process is incredibly efficient and allows the colony to adapt quickly to changes in the environment. There are workers, soldiers, queens, 
and sometimes specialized castes like foragers or nurses. The ants milk, the aphids, by stroking them with their antennae, then guard them from predators in exchange for a steady supply of food. This mutualistic relationship is another example of how ants use teamwork and communication to solve problems and exploit resources. It scurries back to the nest, leaving a faint chemical trail. Soon a few more ants follow, then dozens, until a living highway forms between the nest and the food. The scene is a perfect example of how simple individual behaviors can combine to create complex, intelligent group actions. Each ant on its own has a tiny brain, with only about 250,000 neurons compared to the human brain's 86 billion. Yet, when these ants work together, their combined actions create a system that can build complex nests, wage coordinated wars, farm fungus, herd aphids, and even launch rescue missions for injured nestmates. So, what makes ants so intelligent? The answer lies not in the brain power of a single ant, but in the extraordinary collective intelligence of the colony of phenomenon that scientists call emergent intelligence. Let's begin by looking at the basic structure of an ant colony. One of the most striking displays of ant intelligence is their ability to solve problems as a group. Imagine a time-lapse image, a single ant wandering across a forest floor, suddenly pausing as it discovers a crumb. Ants also use pheromones for a variety of other purposes. Some pheromones signal danger, causing ants to scatter or prepare for battle. But chemical signals aren't the only way ants communicate. Some species use touch, tapping each other with their antennae to exchange information. Let's pause for an image prompt. Picture a bustling ant colony in cross-section. The intelligence of ants isn't just about finding food or defending the nest. Other ants herd and protect aphids, tiny insects that secrete a sugary liquid called honeydew. Ant colonies are also masters of construction. Some build towering mounds, while others create vast underground cities with ventilation shafts, nurseries, and food storage chambers. Let us add another image prompt. Visualize a group of weaver ants, pulling the edges of two leaves together, while others use silk to sew the leaves shut. One of the most remarkable aspects of ant intelligence is their ability to learn and remember. Some ant species even show signs of teaching. Let's imagine another scene. Two ants move in tandem along a winding path. Ants also excel at warfare. Some species organize massive raids on rival colonies, deploying specialized soldiers with giant jaws or chemical weapons. The intelligence of ants has inspired scientists and engineers to develop new technologies. But perhaps the most important lesson ants teach us is the power of cooperation. 